Welcome to this Windows channel and today in this little tips and tricks episode a feature that annoys a lot of people is the automatic selection of printers in Windows 10. Um, up until now when you used a printer you had you know the choice to manually put a printer as a default and uh, that would stay like that basically until you had another printer that you would install and it would ask you if you want to have a default instead or if you manually change it. In Windows 10, they've changed that, and there's a new feature that is automatic selection of a printer. And basically, it means that the last printer you used is now your default printer. That can be maybe interesting if you have, for example, a full day of usage of a specific printer for a task. But in most cases, this is annoying because if we have a main printer, it means that maybe other printers we have are just seldom used for specific items and you don't want them to become the default printer by um, you know automatically basically so go in the notifications area go into settings go into devices here you'll see printers and scanners with a list of your printers and scanners by default let windows manage my default printer is turned on so that means that the last used printer is the one that is on and if you notice here it says Microsoft print to PDF last used if I uh, turn it off it says default now you see that that means that's the last used printer as I have no other printer installed on this particular machine right now so you want to turn this off to make sure that when you use a printer it doesn't automatically become the default by itself um, it could be annoying if it you know it does so um, it's simply the place where you have to switch it off I'm not really sure why this feature was added here because for most people the default printer is the one they want to keep but uh, anyways it was there and it, it's a new feature that uh, is on uh, for sure so you know maybe if you use a printer like I said for a full day or a few days because uh, you're doing a specific task and then want to go back to your old printer um, you could you know have this set as default printer automatically but um, in most cases I think the manual way of using a default printer is the best if you have any comments questions problems maybe you have a feature or video you'd like me to make of a feature of Windows 10 let us know if you enjoy our videos why not subscribe? You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up if you like the videos. Helps us in the ratings on YouTube. And thank you so much for following us on this channel.